Do you have any questions? Recently, various religious figures have been prophesying that within the next two or three years, a world war will break out, resulting in the extinction of more than half of humanity. There are also news reports about detailed prophecies regarding encounters with aliens, claiming that these have come to pass. Why is it that you, master with great mystical powers, do not make such prophecies? It seems that among religious figures, there are those who are prophets and those who are not. I am not a prophet. I am a master in practical matters. My mission is to prevent the realization of any prophecy that would bring misfortune to all of humanity, from the past to the present and into the future, or to minimize the manifestation of such unfortunate prophecies as much as possible, by guiding people in prayer and the path of oneness. Unfortunate prophecies for humanity tend to shrink people's feelings and darken their outlook more than they encourage them to prevent such outcomes. I stand in a position of extreme dislike for anything that diminishes or darkens the human spirit. I strongly believe that we must always inspire courage and hope in people and I do not like to predict future misfortunes that are beyond human power to prevent. My spiritual awareness sees the waves of destiny of both individuals and the Earth's human race quite clearly. But there are two main types of waves, those reflected in the astral world and those created in the divine world. Most prophets' unfortunate prophecies are based on the waves formed in the astral world, but these are not the only determinants of human or mankind's destiny. If it were not for the interference and protection of guardian spirits, the destinies of individuals and humanity that have already been formed in the astral world would manifest as they are in the physical realm. And, the reason that this dark, unfortunate fate appears so easily in the physical world is due to the dark thoughts of individuals, thoughts of conflict, envy, hatred, anger, and fear. Conversely, the method to prevent such destinies from manifesting, both individually and for humanity, is to entrust all individual thoughts to the divine realm, to the heart of guardian spirits. When entrusted fully, Human thoughts connect with the divine realm and the vision of a heavenly kingdom on earth. A world of great harmony already formed in the divine realm will manifest in our physical world. It is up to each individual and humankind to decide which of these worlds they wish to bring into the earthly realm. We human beings have been given such freedom from the beginning. Now is the time to use this freedom to realize a heavenly kingdom on earth. I am being kept alive as a vessel of the guardian deities to teach the easiest of these methods to the people of this earth world. This method requires no prophecy, only concrete actions. Practical actions that make heavenly ideals a reality, 
All we have to do is to continue to pray for world peace. Shining in the light of the Divine Spirit Organization that protects humankind. In our daily lives. I ask that you please anyone with even a slight faith in the existence of deities and Buddhas start sending forth prayers for world peace from today including your own prayers and pilgrimages. In the same way that we should chant the name of the Buddha even when we sleep or wake up, I ask that you pray the words of the prayer. May peace prevail on earth. In your daily life, in every waking and sleeping moment, whether walking, eating, or during any and every moment of the 24-hour day plus more. Those who think they cannot chant while eating or sleeping are trying to pray with words or intellectual thoughts, but a prayer for world peace. In fact, resonates in the heart all day long if it is brought to mind even once a day. It is akin to the method of a single moment of mindfulness in Nenbutsu as taught by Shinran. Once you have thought of praying the world peace prayer and chanted, prayer for the peace of the world, from that day on, the world peace prayer will echo in your heart. Even if we don't chant it out loud or think about it in our brains, our prayers for world peace will continue to resonate in our hearts throughout our lives. This means that your true heart has been chanting the prayer for world peace from the beginning, not that you have just started praying. It's just that your karma thoughts were unaware of this truth until now. I simply broke through that person's karma thoughts from the outside and connected the words of prayer for world peace to that person's true heart. This is the truth of religion. It will take some time to realize this truth. So please think. So that's how it is. And pray for world peace every time you remember. Even if it is casually, world peace, world peace. As you do so, you will come to realize the prayer for world peace resonating within your heart. I have come to this world to make this truth known to mankind, and to make mankind do it. Other things are left to others as they are probably the role of others. I am a practitioner and could be called a religious figure who is a realist. 